Is that how's it at the very end down there? It's pretty much even within. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Not doing this right. What did I do with that piece of loom? It's gonna tape it in there. Sweet. use those little holder thingies to clip it up there, huh? Yeah, exactly. Look at that, going right in that hole. Perfect. Part of it. Your dad is making an awful lot of noise. Not my dad, his dad, mm -hmm. <laughs> just for clarity. Now moving on to the big stuff. Yeah, really, the next stuff is, is difficult. You know when there's a drop cloth covering almost everything in this side of the bus, something is about to go down. Something needs to be right there. So hopefully I have a ground. We'll find out in about two seconds. Did that thing still come in? Welding in the bus. I know. I know. It's crazy. Think it'll work? It'll take a miracle. <laughs> now we'll take this. Like that. Okay. Find my lid. This is awesome right here. It's working out really well. Okay, so this is the one that has to be the strongest. Because this, this down here, just mechanical force will press this one here is pulling so i am satisfied with that oh actually it's going to be out here by the time you get the whole wall piece yeah in there. yeah like that i think and because we're using three quarter inch plywood here on this section i'm i feel really good that because it's so close up here and so close down here that we won't need anything behind it because of the size of this pressing in on that wood because it's so thick of wood that it's just gonna be held there. So I think we're almost done and we don't have to do any of the weird, scary things that I thought we were gonna have to do. And then do you cut that rest of the bolt off when we're we done? We will cut the rest of the bolt off when we're done. Yes. Okay, so now we have to cut a bunch of uh, 11 inch by eight foot pieces and uh, start doing the upper walls. You ready? I am up ready and I'm pretty excited. Okay, good. Matt, will you help me? What? We gotta move the uh, sandblaster. Really? Yep. How come? Because we gotta put a gigantic piece of wood on the table saw. Can you get uh, that side of it? Let him get it. Put it over here. Knees, knees, knees. Go back. So now that that's out of the way, let's take this sheet of plywood. Let's move stuff. Avalanche! Can I help, Mike? Yes, please. What do you want? 
what? Lift up that entire side. Okay. Bring it over onto the fence. Oh. Uh, uh. There you go. Perfect. You got that? Yeah, Mike. You got that? There you go. The only one I want you to worry about is that one right there. I will worry about this one. I think it's the last one. Somebody had a blowout. What are you talking about? Oh, my pants. I don't Major want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. So. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> it's great. Okay. So, things we got to do. Prior to work, um, we need to put the 2 by 4s in here, tape them so we know where they are. We need to put the little things out here to hold this up because it's going to be hell okay let's see that gives us like something need little holders holds it up for us so this is the back so those little holders just make it a heck of a lot easier to get this up here in the meantime though we need to make sure all of our stuff is out the way. Man, I think this is gonna turn out amazing. Look how vertical it is. Is it all the way flush against this to the left? Oh, I need a free drill. Keep holding on that. Mike, it just popped. Did it pop out? Yep. Oh my God. Wow, it sure did. Love. I'm gonna have to use bigger screws here. We're gonna need a bigger boat. 210, awesome. 220. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Mr. Mom reference. You caught that! Oh my god, that is so amazing that he caught that. Alright, here's the big test right here. Making sure it reaches. Ta-da! Okay, we're heading out, one. Alright, buddy. Love awesome. you guys. Thank you for your thank help. You for coming over today. Oh, thank you. Definitely. Good to see you as always. Uh, stay golden. <laughs> Same to you, pony boy. So now, next one. Next one's gonna be a pain in the butt. Because we have these big things sticking out. So the big question is how do we align this? Well, I think we should do measuring to get us there. And then drill some oversized holes because this thing here, our TV thing, will cover up our big holes easily. It's gonna be amazing when it's done. It just, like I can see what it's gonna look like. It just looks kind of crappy right now. But I already can see what it's gonna look like in my head. You know what I mean? Well, let's make that vision a reality. Yawn too. I'm working on it right now, lady. All right. Keep up the good work. We need to put some more supports up, but we can just reuse these supports because they're done. Your holders. Yeah. Mike's pants are holders. Stop looking at my pants. <laughs> Everybody knows they're broken. Again, this is not the first time I've been through this. <laughs> right? I just seem to have a propensity to split pants. You've blown out at least a couple pair on this bus build. Mm -hmm. I know this. What I do. <laughs> blow out pants. I'm jealous of my superpower. <laughs> Everybody wishes they had a superpower like mine, but you can't all have blown out pants superpowers, okay? Okay, we need to measure that because clearly it's under eight. And guess what? I lost the tape measure. Oh, what a surprise. And then two inches up, put it right there. So now we come up 17 inches over here, but we can just use this. Like 
that. Are you so excited? Get to put that thing on now. He's been waiting for this for days, y'all. He's stressing about this. Days he's been waiting. It's gotta work or else. Oh, look. I think that's gonna work. So we gotta come up with a 5 16th and a quarter 20, which I know where the quarter 20s are. 5 16ths gonna be a little bit digger deep. Bigger deep. Digging. Well, this isn't gonna take the rest of my life. <laughs> it's too hard to turn by just your fingers. It's a nylock, so you can't. Oh. And I think we're going to draw some extra screws in here to, to stabilize it a little bit. Seems like a good idea. But I was just tickled that this goes in like this, man. I'm using a quarter down here because there's nothing pulling on it. All the strength is up here. All the... the, the uh, the leverage is pulling against this bolt. This is pushing it against an entire wall. So that's like a quarter 20 volts just fine here. Because it just needs to keep it in place, essentially. It's the one on top that we have to be concerned about. Got to cut them off now? You made short work of that. <laughs> get the rest of the pieces. Get it. The bolt is shorter. It was funny. It wasn't even a little bit funny. It was hilarious. Hilarious and you know it. I got far from my mouth. <laughs> Excellent. Is this some, uh oh. No, it works, it just is. <laughs> Like I have to, I gotta do this. Oh. Push down on that again. Real hard. Okay. Wow, look at that. It's huge. It's way up there. It's up higher than I thought it would be. Me too, actually. Uh oh. Cool. Okay, well, we're halfway there. But like, look at that, like. Center couch. Movie night. Yeah, or over here. Daytime use. Right, out of the way. And then uh, standing desk. Right. Standing desk position. I love it. Probably should have read the directions. <laughs> now is a fine time to say that. Sure, let me just hand you my man card and why don't you just go get me the directions? <laughs> <laughs> you want a little pink tutu with that? Might as well. <laughs> Loosening or tightening how much spring this has. So you can tighten this or make it a stronger spring in order to accommodate a heavier TV. Oh, really? Up to a specific weight, yeah. Well, that's cool. So, in this one right here, goes here. So, for all of you guys that are suddenly interested in this thing, because it is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie, um, I will definitely be putting this in the, uh, in the links in the bottom here so you guys can uh, get one for yourself. Because uh, so far, I really like it. Granted, we haven't put a TV on it yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to be everything we wanted it to be, so... And they're going to see the TV on it in about, like, 30 seconds from now, That's anyway. Right. Maybe if I can get this thing going, oh my god. <laughs> well, for now... There it is! I'm really very happy how that turned out. I am thrilled with how the whole upper wall looks up there. Me too. I'm so glad I don't have to look at all that fiberglass insulation and wires and pipes and all that crud. It's still on this side of the bus, but you know, not for much longer. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
Just look at what Mikey's been up to out here. Ta-da! I think he wants to plug in a TV or something. Shh. You're giving it all away. They don't know what this is. Could be a robotic arm. <laughs> Dang it. Now they know. Now they know it's not. Well, let's make sure it turns on, shall we? I got like a fancy thing for this somewhere. Oh, this, thing. Oh, this tells you if it's like done right. Green's good. You got a green light. I know. Fancy. All right. I think we should hook a TV up because we can. Let's do it. Only because it's so cool. <laughs> Very exciting. I always knew that when I was putting in the, uh, like installing the TV and stuff, like we were getting close. But like, this is more like detail stuff now. This is the stuff that turns a house into a home. Yeah, pretty much. Sad that we would say that about a television set, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. We're turning the house into a, a, a capitalist, portal to disaster. Right. <laughs> These screws are unique. Are unique to this. Wow, we have unique screws. Mm -hmm. Didn't know, bet you didn't know that. Seems like an oxymoron. What happened to all the packages that I had, I brought out with, that went with this? It was all these right here, huh? I guess I opened them all. No, there was a thing with screws in it. Wait, not these? Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe so. Let's try it. Ta-da. So, wow. question, should we screw it in with a screwdriver or should we screw it in with these thumb screws here? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Probably these, because in the event that it gets loose while we're driving or something, you can quickly get to it and not go searching for a screwdriver. But then... Uh, the argument for the other one would be that they seem like they would be less likely to even come loose in the first place. Okay, I'll go with that. I'm down with that. This is really light TV, man. Like, surprisingly light. Shockingly light, really. Do you need me to hold it while you screw it? Oh. Oh, that was our ceiling. I know. Okay, uh, yeah, actually, if you want to hold the TV up. Do you hold it? Uh, let go. Okay, wow, here it is. Watch out. Wow, this is really cool. Hold on, I have to get a good view of this. Yeah. So we can bring it over here. Look for couch watching action here. Oh, and it actually turns this way too. Oh, wow, so you can level it. Yeah. No matter where it goes. So there's like that or like this. We're just movie night. Movie night. We can bring it out here like this. I guess you could actually do this for editing if you wanted to. That's Let's, pretty cool. Yeah, it's just it's just articulates for us. Yeah, wherever so, we want it to. So there's that. We can zip tie this all up so that it's kind of a part of this thing. Well, we just got this wall up with the camera turned off. Yeah. Sorry about that. I kind of forgot. Okay, so now we just need to do this last piece right here. Side. We didn't. <laughs> That's good. You guys want to see? Oh, uh, like that. <laughs> I have to hold it up for effect. Now, ah. Uh, How to? Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so what we have to do now is some a little bit of modification. So this is cool for you guys doing um doing a van or bus or whatever, and you guys don't want to use uh, RV lights. And so I'm just like looking for solutions to this online, and then I stumble across these light bulbs. The light bulbs are standard size socket light bulbs like you'd find in your house, but they're 12 volt LED. What? So what does that mean for us? That means you can use a standard household light, mount it and change it over to a 12 volt lamp. Just and by changing the light just bulb? Just by changing the light Wait, bulb. Wait, don't you have to do something to the I wires? I do have to do some modifications to the wires. But it's something simple, right? It, it really is, it really is. However, so I say that and then I just backpedal here. So this particular one, has a dimmer switch and I am afraid that the dimmer switch is not going to uh, work so, but we can test it real quick is my meter out here uh, where's my meter checking your great bag behind your bag not. when you touch it gets a uh, beep however what we have to figure out is if there is actually a plus and a minus in this through this thing there's a plus. Is this on? Yes. Is there a minus? Nothing. The switch won't work. That doesn't mean we're not going to, it's not going to work. It just means the switch isn't going to be right for this. Just the three way switch or the dimmer switch? Yeah, the dimmer switch. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. I need my soldering iron for this. Okay, so therefore, this one. Boom. Let's turn the switch off. Worked. Okay. That was very nerdy, but it was very effective. So now we can put this all back. What were you testing? What to connect to what? Or? I was just making sure that everything I did allowed the switch, the, the, the modification I made to the switch to work. Mm -hmm. And so that worked. And also, which is positive and negative on this thing. Where's the screw that fell off when I took it off? I saw it. It's right here. Awesome sauce. That's what we needed. And this right here, too. So that'll make this look factory again. Oh God, that is so freaking cool right there. Boom, shakalaka. That is... Aw, oh, it's so cute. So exactly what we needed. High five. Right? There. Okay, where's that one little brass nut? That's what holds it on? Yeah, two oh, of them. Oh man, I'm gonna beat you if you don't find the other one. I can't believe you lost it like that. You're a disaster. A walking disaster. Hey, we'll link these uh, little lamps and stuff in the uh, in the description if you can think they're cute. Because we think they're cute. Super cute. Okay. I like how sturdy these are. Like this right here that holds this on. It's not like some flimsy snap-in weird things. It's not some piece of wire that's going to bend yeah. and then wear out and then break. Yeah. It's like totally solid. Like this has got probably 20 threads behind it. It's pretty much not coming off unless I want it to. This lamp that's going to go over the kitchenette is just a on off. So there's no electronics behind it. 
And so this one will be really easy to uh, install. So we don't have to do surgery to make No it surgery, thank goodness. Excellent. Isn't that handy? We have so much light in here. Right. I really like that part. In my old age, as my sight dims, all the light I put in here makes up for it. <laughs> we all know who the blind one is. Right, that's here, for sure. So... <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> Glad I checked that. Because it's opposite is the last one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, and that's the case. Then this is our negative. This is our positive on this one. So weird. I know. White is negative. Black is positive on this one. Because China. That's why. I am not even <laughs> kidding about that. Nothing against the Chinese, but the stuff that they produce is crap and that's why the coronavirus is only gonna last about two weeks because it can't possibly last longer than that because it was made in china <laughs> just long enough to produce a toilet paper scare that's right <laughs> huge toilet paper scare and soap and oh my god hand me the those little little things yeah might have to move this down a little We'll see. Or trim the trim. Yeah. It's a little cafe right here. What? Dude, this thing is cute. I don't know if it's on or off. Could be That's the excitement. I know. Or I wired it all wrong. <gasps> Ta-da! Or what? Okay, hey, wait a minute. We gotta turn off the bright lights. Look at our little mood lighting everywhere. Oh my God. I love it. It really makes me want to clean the bus. Oh, good. looks awesome. It is starting to look good, huh? This is a very tedious portion of the painting. I think it looks good. You guys probably haven't seen this little bad boy. Oh, little button right. Oh, what's that? Right there. coming together so good. Okay, so we haven't finished everything in the living room area yet. We still need cushions for the dinette seats and we need to put um, some trim around the windows. But here's where we're at so far.